Hi viewers, welcome to the Glamour Show with me, Edna Kaindi, with my guest over here. And I know uh, my viewers, you know her, because I've done an interview with her previously. And uh, today, our interview is more about uh, waxing. And uh, let's our, let our guest introduce herself and uh, kindly tell us more about yourself. Thank you. Uh, I'm Melodias Otwere. I'm a trainer of cosmetology here at Kid Technical Training College. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, can, can you kindly tell us more about the today's topic that is waxing? Okay, welcome. So today, uh, our topic of today is waxing, waxing treatment. So waxing treatment is under depilatory treatment. So depilatory treatment uh, deals with the removal of hair. So under the removal of hair, we have two uh, methods, the, whereby we have permanent methods of hair removal and temporary method of hair removal. So waxing lies under temporary method of air removal whereby uh, under temporary air removal that air after being removed it uh, grows uh, it can grow after two weeks then that hair uh, you can get that it now grows then you can uh, maybe go um, either to the spa and then that air get removed while permanent air removal uh, you get that uh, when uh, you are doing that practical or you are when we are carrying out that permanent air removal, so you get that uh, the hair roots are being removed so that air cannot grow. So it is removed permanently. Yeah. Okay. That's a good explanation. So. So when you are doing waxing on a client, so how do they feel? Do they feel do they feel pain or they won't feel pain? Uh, in waxing, there is no uh, that much pain like uh, when you are doing, carrying out the permanent air removal method, whereby you you use laser or electrolytes to do that practical. Uh, we have two types, uh, we have by one of them, uh, we have that type, uh, you use, before uh, carrying out that practical, you have to warm it, and then you apply to the area of treatment, then you use a waxing strip to remove uh, that hair. And another one, uh, you just, uh, it is called uh, air uh, wax beans, wax, wax beans, whereby you warm them. After warming them, uh, now they can melt. After melting, then you apply to the treated area, the area where we are going to treat. After that, you apply. Then you, uh, after applying it, you wait and then you remove it without using a waxing strip. Okay, nice. So uh, can you advise our, our viewers on uh, waxing and why it's important to do waxing? And also, uh, does waxing uh, depend on skin or does it irritate uh, skin when you wax? So kindly talk about that. Okay. Waxing uh, is a good service. So... Uh, Whatever I can advise the viewers is that uh, when you are carrying out waxing, it's a good method of air removal. Because uh, waxing is not uh, that expensive method of air removal compared to permanent air removal. Whereby most of the spas or the beauty, uh, sorry, the spas or the, sal the salons, you cannot get 
permanent ear removal, all electrologists who uh, maybe carries out that service. But waxing is the cheapest method of uh, waxing. So I can advise the viewers that they can go for waxing other than uh, maybe that permanent hair removal method. That's nice. So when a client comes to do waxing, uh, do they pay or they don't pay when they come here at school? Do they pay or they don't pay? When clients come uh, for waxing service, they do pay because in every service that we are carrying out, so we have a, a procedure that uh, we follow. So when we are carrying out consultation and analysis, there we uh, also we negotiate about payment. So the client has to pay. So. Who does the client pay? Is it the student or the teacher? Uh, the, uh, it is a protocol, so he has to pay first the teacher, and then the teacher will see what to do next. So can you kindly tell us the procedure of waxing? Because uh, the viewers who want to learn more about waxing, Okay, thank you. So before the, before the procedure for waxing, we have different uh, products and uh, tools that are being used when carrying out that service. So, uh, for example, we have a product like uh, wax itself. Uh, we have uh, surgical spirits. We have a cotton hole. Uh, then we have cleanser. Cleanser, it is used to cleanse uh, the wa the area to be waxed, all the area that you're going to treat first. So you have to cleanse that area and then you apply. The talcum powder also is a product. So the talcum powder will absorb the moisture uh, from that area. So you can find that uh, there are certain clients who things when you are uh, maybe you're carrying out the service. So you can apply that talcum powder to absorb the moisture. Then another product is uh, sorry toning lotion toning lotion is applied after the service when you are done with the service now you apply that toning lotion to regret the body the ph uh, the ph level of that body uh, under the tools we have to like uh, we have spatula spatula it is used to apply the product uh, to the hair to be, to be treated then we have tweezers, we have manual tweezers, manual tweezers we are going uh, to use it to, uh, to remove stray hairs. Stray hairs are the hairs that remain when you are carrying out waxing, then uh, those hairs that remain. So you use this manual tweezers to remove those stray hairs. And then we have scissors, scissors, small scissors. Small scissors we are going uh, to use it to trim the hair so you can find that the client has a long hair so you cannot be able to wax long hair so you trim first uh, that hair using small scissors and then now you can continue with waxing process so under procedure under uh, sorry we have also a waxing pot a waxing pot is an equipment so waxing pot it is used to melt all to eat the wax that is going to uh, that we are going to use to cut out the service. So uh, under procedure, first, before carrying out any service, you ensure that uh, you set the working station. You set the working station. At the working station, you are going to organize all, you are going to place the tools and the products that you are going to use during that service. So after that, now you will come the client. You will come the client and then you ensure that the client is comfortably seated. After that, you drape the client using a clean towel or a gown. After draping the client, now you can carry out consultation. You carry out consultation and analysis. So under consultation, you are going to uh, ask the client his or her name, uh, where he or she comes from, his or her phone number, his work, yeah, and then analysis. Under analysis, 
you are going to see if uh, the treatment, the hair to be treated has some contraindication. So contraindication are the problems that you find uh, before starting the service. So if you can find any contraindication there, you cannot uh, continue. You will not continue with that service. You will stop it because it will not allow you to continue. When you apply any product, if a client has a contraindication, he or she can get can be infected or can get some infection. So you stop it. So if you find that the client has no contraindication, you can continue with the service. So after carrying out a client's consultation and analysis, now you can start the service. So you, you now uh, wash the hands or sanitize the hands using a sanitizer. And then uh, you use a cleanser, cleansing lotion to, to clean the area to be treated. So after that, you will now see the growth pattern of that hair then it will be easier for you to apply that wax then after that uh, after cleansing uh, you will eat your wax all will put that waxing pin the moment they are going they are going on melting you will be uh, carrying out cleansing so after cleansing you will apply a talcum powder a talcum powder uh, that absorbs moisture then after that you will get that the wax has melted then before uh, applying that wax you have to taste that wax before applying it to the client so you will taste it at the back of your hand so to see it is temperature if it is too hot you cannot apply it because the moment you apply that uh, wax to the client it will burn him or her so you taste it and then you apply so after uh, after testing, you now apply following the growth pattern of the hair. So you apply it following the growth pattern, and then after that, you remove against the growth pattern of that uh, hair. So after uh, that hair removal, you now apply toning toning lotion to cool uh, the plant or to regrade the pH value of that skin. So now you now be done with that service and then you give care and advice to the client then you set out the working station. Uh, an example, for example, if uh, it is uh, we have uh, different parts of uh, all areas that are being worked. Like uh, for example, if uh, it is high, we have high waxing. So if a uh, maybe client has come for high waxing, so you should uh, advise the client not to apply any makeup uh, after eight hours. Wow, that was a good explanation about uh, waxing. So let's prepare ourselves to learn more about waxing. But uh, before we go, kindly give us your last word. Thanks. Whatever I will advise the viewers is that uh, we welcome you to learn more about uh, these skills. Here at King, we have several skills that we will be able to learn. Also, under cosmetology department, we have more skills. So, welcome all. Let's learn together and achieve uh, skill knowledge at the same time. Thank you so much for that advice. So now uh, we are done with our interview. Uh, let's have a short break. And when we come back, we come back with the procedure of waxing. Thank you so much, viewers, for joining the Glamour Show and continue watching the Glamour Show. You have been with me, Edna Kaindi. My sign language interpreter voicing has been Jedida Wafula. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platform. Uh, that is Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And please comment. See you next time. Bye.